Hello. Good evening. How are you guys? How do you feel today? Good evening. How are you, teacher? I'm okay. I'm good. You know, today I feel good. What about you? How do you feel today? How are you? Nice, teacher. Nice. Nice. Okay. What about your weekend? How was it? How was your weekend? Good. So, so relaxing. Relaxing. It was relaxing. Okay. Very good. Yeah, relaxing. Okay. Did you go out? Salieron? Did you go out? No. No? No? No. Okay. All right. So let's see. Hello, Hael. Good evening. Okay. See si Elizabeth. Hello. Good evening. Jonathan, Luisa, Carlos, Juan, Edwin. Okay. Erica, Ariel. Okay, guys. So we're going to start with today's class. Well, we have different things to cover. Let me go ahead and share my screen. I hope you have had um, a great Monday and also a great weekend, okay? So we're going to start with today's class and well, today's agenda, but first the quote of the day, which is the quote of the day, Hael? Be kind whenever possible. Yes, so be kind whenever possible. What is the meaning of kind? Amable, right? So be kind. Amable. Sea amable cuando sea posible. Whenever possible, okay? Siempre cuando sea posible. We need to be kind, okay? We need to be kind whenever possible. All right. So then we are going to start with today's agenda. We have the warm up, we have vocabulary, we have grammar, we have practice time, we have exercises, and we have the wrap up. Well, today we are going to learn something new. We are going to start with a new topic, but we are going to also reinforce the simple present tense, okay? Vamos a reforzar siempre el presente simple, pero este día vamos a comenzar con un tema distinto, okay? So we are going to start with the warm up. And as a warm up, we have a tongue twister. Yes, we have a tongue twister. And it goes like this, okay? So Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay, this one is for you to practice the S H sound. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay, practice it you alone. Practice luce solito por 15 segundos y después uno por uno. One by one. Okay. So, first of all, what is a shoe shine shop? A shoe shine shop es una tienda donde lustran los zapatos. Okay? In a shoe shine shop. Hmm? Yes? So, repetir otra vez todo, teacher. Oh, Please. yes. Yes. Okay, so Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Thank you. Okay. Okay, you ready? Let's see, who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Who wants to try it first? Okay. Me, teacher. Okay, so first Erika and then Carlos Ernesto. Go, Erika. Susie works in a sunshine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Very good. Carlos Ernesto. Okay, good evening. Susie works in, in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits. She shines. Okay, sits. Sit. Sit. Where she sits. 
she no. shines. Where she sits. Where she sits. Mm -hmm. She shines. And where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she okay. shines. Okay, again, again. Susie, Susie works in a show shine shop. Okay. Where she shine, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Yes, much better. Good job. Hi. Okay. Susie worked in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Very good. Excellent. Eh, Carlos Alfredo Reyes, go. Susie worked in shoe shine shop where she, she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Where she sits. Okay. okay. Elizabeth. Sushi worked in a sushi. No, ¿cómo es ahí? Sushi shine. Sushi shine shop where she shine, she shit, and where she shit, she shine. Okay, now let's see. Vamos en nuevo. Shoe shine. Shoe shine. Where she sits. Where she sit. sits. 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 Okay, so where she shines, she sits. Where she shines, she should sit. Uh -huh. Where she shines, she sits. She sits. Where she shines, she sits. Where she shines, she sits. Where she shines, she she sits. Okay, otra vez. Where <laughs> she shines. Where she shines, 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 shines. She sits. She sits. Uh -huh. Okay. Again, where she shines, she sits. Where she shines, she sits. Uh -huh. Okay. Ya lo nuevamente todo. Sushi. Sushi work in a sunshine. She shine shop where she shine shine she sit, sits and where she sits she shine. Much better, okay. Much better, okay. Mucho mejor, okay. Very good, Edwin. Teacher, uh, Susie works in a switching shine shop where she shines. She sit and where she sit, she is trying. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Okay, let's see. Uh, Claudia, Claudia Maria. Hello. Hello. Mm, Le escuchamos bien lejos, pero. Más o menos. Sí. Yes. Okay. Susie so work. In a show, show she night stop where she she nests she sit and where she sit she shines. Okay, Claudia, repita después de mí. Okay. 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 Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Susie works in. Uh, so shoe shine, shine. Shoe, shine. shoe shine shoe shine shop shop where she shines she sits where she shines she sits and where she sits she shines and where she sits she shines shines now shoe shine Shoe, 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 shoe shine. Shoe shine. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, Jonathan. Good evening, teacher. 
Good evening, Jonathan. Susie worked in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sit, and where she sit, she shines. She shines. Okay, very good, Jonathan. Luisa Tatiana. Susie worked in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay, very good. Thank you. Isela? Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she seeks, and where she seeks, she shines. Very good. Yes, Isela, thank you. Ariel. Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay, very good. Yes, thank you, Ariel. Hector. Susie works in to shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good job. Uh, Clarissa. Do you need teacher a uh, uh, Swiss Susie works in a shoes shoes shines shop where is she 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 sweets and where is she she's and she shines okay where she shines she sits she shines she sets uh -huh. where she, she yes. shines are where she and where she sits and she where shines. she sits she shines 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 okay yes Okay, guys, this is for you to practice the SH sound, okay? Most of you, okay, should practice the SH sound, okay? El SH no suena muy marcado como una C. Uh -huh. Entonces, tiene que hacer como el, el sh, ¿verdad? Entonces, tiene que repasarlo, okay? Then, let's move, let's move. So, right now we are going to just recall previous knowledge. Okay, seasons of the year. We have four seasons. Winter, spring, summer, fall, or autumn. Which is your favorite season of the year? Which is your favorite season of the year, guys? My favorite season is fall. It's fall. Uh, yes. Yeah. It, it, it's teacher is... Y summer. Por eso summer, lo tenemos summer. dos estaciones. Yes, here in yeah, our yeah. country, here in our country, we just have summer and winter. That is true. We do not have a spring. We do not have fall. Well, we have, tro we have tropical weather. We have a tropical weather. That's true. There. Yeah, that is correct. Well, but, okay, so your favorite season is fall, but in El Salvador, summer, right? But yes, in other countries, probably fall. Yes. Which one mm -hmm. is autumn? 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 Autumn is yeah. the same as fall. How is fall? Yes, fall or autumn is the same. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Fall Thanks. and autumn are the same. Okay. Se puede decir, o ya sea fall, o ya sea autumn. Que la más común es fall. Oh. Fall. Otoño. Okay. Yes. But uh, uh, I see the uh, three with maybe it could be summer or something. This one? Yes. Uh, no. I, I imagine that like for uh, no. ice or, or, or very cold. Mm, no. In, I mean, yes. Not necessary. It's not necessary. Remember that fall, fall is otoño. So fall eh, is not uh, with uh, snow. No es con nieve ni nada de eso. Es windy, right? Oh, es con okay. vientos y todo eso. Okay. Fall es otoño donde las hojas se tornan, they turn, eh, cuando se tornan de ese color, eh, like orange, okay. or brown, y empiezan a caerse, right? Por eso se llama fall. Porque se cae. Uh, okay. 
So yes, but it's not the same as summer. Mm -hmm. No, it's not the okay. same. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Cold is cold. El otoño es helado, pero no es de nieve, sino que es más que todo de viento. Okay. okay. Yeah. Do you remember that uh, many years ago teníamos los vientos de octubre, right? Yes. But nowadays, ya no tenemos eso, right? Okay. Entonces, eso okay. era como fall. Aquí era, eso era como un otoño, digámoslo así. De okay. octubre a diciembre, e incluso hasta en enero, era otoño yeah. en nuestro país. Yes. Ya no llovía. But nowadays, we have rain, right? We have rain. It's too hot. I mean, really different, the weather. Okay, very good. Now, we also have, how's the weather? Different words for you to express whenever someone asks you, um, what's the weather? If someone asks you, what's the weather? Les está preguntando, ¿cómo está el clima? Hey, how's the weather in El Salvador? How's the weather? ¿Cómo está el clima en El Salvador? How's the weather in El Salvador? So we have sunny, rainy, cold, foggy, hot, cloudy, snowy, and windy. We do not have a snow, so a snow is not possible in El Salvador, right? Yes. So we just have sunny, rainy, cold, foggy, hot, cloudy, and windy. So let me ask you, how's the weather right now? How's the weather? It is hot. It is hot. It is hot. Mm -hmm. It is hot. So sunny, soleado. Yes. Rainy, lluvioso. Okay. Rainy, lluvioso. Cold, helado. Cold, helado. Okay. Um, foggy es como cuando hay bastante neblina. Neblina, ¿verdad? Yeah. Um, how's the name in Spanish? Nublado. N no. Ne um, neblina. No, there is a word, neblinoso. Oh. Neblinoso, ok, neblinoso, ok. Eh, hot, caliente, right? Cloudy, nublado. Cloudy, nublado. Ok, snowy, cuando hay mucha nieve, but here we don't, we don't have that one, no tenemos eso. And windy es cuando hay bastante viento. Nowadays, no, right? Ya no tenemos tanto viento. Windy. Okay, very good. Let's move. So let's talk about telling the time, okay? Telling the time tips. As we mentioned last class, we use o'clock when there are no minutes. Example, eight o'clock, okay? 10.45 or 11 o'clock. So as you remember, como se recuerda, no podemos utilizar o'clock. Si tenemos la 10 y 45, es, y decimos 10.45 o'clock. Incorrect. Incorrect. Podemos decir 10.45. Así. ahí. But when we have en punto, sí, 11 o'clock. Pero cuando tenemos eh, minutos, no podemos decir o'clock. No puede decir la 10 y 45 en punto. Mm -mm. If it is quarter to 11. Quarter, uh -huh. quarter to 11, yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Excellent. All right. So now let's move and let's correct the mistake. Okay. This is about prepositions. Correct the mistake on number one. What is the mistake? ¿Cuál es el error en la primera? What is the mistake? On. On. It should be? Is at. At. Is at. Very good. Number two. What is the mistake? In. And it in should March. be? 
on, on Mars. In. Why? Why on and no in? Because yeah, the, the day is complete. Excellent. Because we are giving the specific date. Number three. In Monday. In, in Monday. Okay. It should be? On Monday. On Monday. Very good. What is the mistake on number four? In. In. It's in. at. It's at, at seven. And what in. else? Is that the only mistake? In Saturday, she leaves at seven o'clock p.m. Seven p.m. Okay, so in Saturday, she sleeps at on Saturday. seven. Mm. On. Yeah. on Saturday. Excellent. Okay, on Saturday. Remember that we cannot say the Saturday. Eso no existe. The Saturday no existe en inglés. No podemos decir el, el sábado como de Saturday. No existe. Entonces hay dos errores, teacher. El, el, el de y el in. Correct. Two. Okay. Two mistakes. El da y el in. Two mistakes. Okay. Yes. So on Saturday, she sleeps at 7 p.m. And number five. Home. Oh. It should be. Oh. It tiene que ser in, oh. in March. Oh. In March. Excellent. In March. I travel to Spain in March. Very good. Excellent. Okay. I can see that you have studied. Han estudiado. Okay. I can see that you have studied. Very good. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. But, but okay. Yes. Let's complete the sentence with the correct preposition. Okay. Number one. We, we always to go, go to New York, go to New York. In, in, August. August. in August. Perfect. Excellent. Yes. Number two. I have a meeting mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. paper. I have, I, have a meeting. I have a meeting in April. In April. In April. In April. April. Number three. I have, I have a meeting. A meeting. Oh, oh, April. 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 Okay. April. 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 Yes. Number four. I always wake up. I always wake up at 8:45 a.m. Very good. I always wake up at 8:45 a.m. Excellent. And number five. The weather in, in spring is nice. Perfect. The weather in a spring is nice. Excellent. Okay. A spring primavera. A spring primavera. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Let's keep going. Okay. So today we are going to start with there is and there are. Yes, there is and there are. So let's start talking about there is or there's. Okay, so this one is the long way and this one is the contraction. There is or there's. We use there is and there are to make a list of things or whenever we want to say that something exists. The, utilizamos there is or there is para hacer una lista de cosas que existen o cosas que hay. There is is singular. Okay. And we have there's the contraction, there is not the negative or there isn't. Fíjese bien que las negativas se pueden formular de dos maneras. There is not or there isn't. Yes, cualquiera de las dos está bien. And we have the structure. Positive. There plus is plus a or an plus complement. Yes, for example, if I want to say there is an apple on the table. Hay una manzana sobre la mesa. 
There is an. Una. An, an, an. An apple on the table. There is an apple on the table. Now, what about, what about, guys? Si yo quiero decir, hay una naranja en la mesa. There is. There is an orange, orange, orange on the table. Orange. Excellent. There is an, an um, orange, orange on the table. On the table. There are no, porque dijimos que esto es singular. Hay una. Okay, teacher. Now, what about hay una pera en la mesa? There is a pear a on the pear, table. A pear? A pear on the table. Excellent. Now, negative. There is not a or an plus complement. So, there is not an apple on the table. There is not an apple on the table. No hay. No hay una manzana en la mesa. No hay. Okay. Recuerde, there is, se utiliza para decir que algo existe, that something exists. Okay. And the questions is plus there, plus a or an, or any, plus complement. Is there an apple on the table? Hay una manzana en la mesa? Yes, there is. No, no there isn't. There isn't. Teacher. Yes. Uh, what is different when you use over there and over here? Over is there? Like a similar um, instruction? Or no, no word. No, it's not the same, it's different, but it's related to places. Okay. Yes. Uh, but plus or, or, or far? Uh -huh. Over there is like something far, over there. Over uh -huh. here is near. It's close to me. Uh huh. It's close oh. to me. Okay, thank and you. And over there is far from me. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. Questions. Questions so far? No? Let's continue. Okay. So let's see. Let's create. Let's create sentences. Okay. So let's create two positive sentences. Vamos a crear dos oraciones positivas. Let's create two positive sentences with the images that you see right here. Con las imágenes que ve acá. So, let's see. Uh -huh. The first example. There is a table. There is a table. Another one. There is a pencil on the table. Okay, there is a pencil. There is a pencil on the table. Very good. Now, negative. Two negatives. There is uh, there is a no um a pen a pencil um in the notebook. On the notebook. Uh huh. Notebook. Oh. There is not a pencil. Pencil? No. Okay. Another so, one. There is not a um, printer on the table. There is not a printer on the table. Yes. Now, two questions. Is there an, an uh, eraser, teacher? Yes. Is there an eraser? Is there an eraser on the desk? On the desk? Yes, there is. Or no, there isn't. Another one. One more. One question. 
Is there a bookcase in the living room? Is there a bookcase in the living room? Very good. Excellent. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Excellent. Questions so far? Doubts? Not right now? Let's continue. Okay. So then we also have plural. And with plural, we use there are or there aren't. Okay. Yes. Mm. Oh. Okay, Claudia. Okay. Okay. So there are or there aren't. Okay. There are or there aren't. Okay. And let me see. Give me one second. Okay. Let me just answer to Claudia. Okay. So there are or there aren't is whenever we have plural, pluralis. Okay. For example, there are apples in the fridge if you find difficult si usted encuentra difícil decir refrigerator diga fridge 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 yes si a usted le cuesta decir refrigerator entonces diga fridge which is the the short way right? oh, so, nosotros, mm, there are apples in the fridge que, que hay manzanas, hay manzanas en el refrigerador. Ok. So, there are no apples. No hay manzanas. There are no apples in the fridge. There are no apples. No hay. Are there apples in the fridge? Are there apples in the fridge? Yes, there are. Or no, there aren't. Or we can also add quantities. Podemos agregar cantidades. For example, there are two windows. There are two windows in my living room. There are two sofas in my living room. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can add quantities. Teacher. Yes. En la negativa eh, es there are no or there are not. Okay, very good question. Okay. So it could be either or. Puede ser there are no or there are not. Puede ser ambas. Pero ¿cuándo vamos a utilizar there are no? ¿En cuándo vamos a utilizar there are not? Ok, cuando usted, when you give the quantity, cuando usted dé la cantidad, vamos a utilizar there are not. There are not three apples in the fridge. Cuando usted solo agregue el noun, el noun, ok, el nombre, el noun, sin la cantidad, puede decir there are no. Ok. Ok, hey, teacher, thank you. Very good. Now let's move and let's create some examples. Give me two positive examples using there are. There are two, two clocks. Two clocks. Very good. Next, another one. There are three cell phones. There are three cell phones. Very good. Now give me two negatives. Uh -huh. Negative. There are not 
two windows in my room. There are not two windows in my room. Very good. Another one. There are not lamps in my bed bedroom. There are no lamps in my bedroom. Questions. Two questions. Sure. Uh, uh, la otra are think para question. Uh, are there uh the shirts? Are there T-shirts, okay. T-shirts. Yes, hmm? T-shirts, okay. Mm. Yes, yes, there are or no, there aren't. Okay, very good. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Okay. Hmm? Very good. Another one? Mm -hmm. The last one. One more. Another question, una pregunta más, another question, the last one. Mm -hmm. Are there two women in your life? Are there two, are there two? Women, mujeres. Oh, are there two women? Two women in your life? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Questions, doubts, dudas, preguntas. Teacher. Yes. Con respecto a lo que estaba usted explicando en de hoy, que era sobre eh, las preguntas. I see, and there are no, no, era cuando era cantidad, pero de ahí estuve diciendo que cuando es una respuesta de una, digamos, en negativo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Una pregunta, and there are no, eh, cuando era, cuando digamos, era, era, digamos, no era cantidad, no que usted estaba explicando eh, que se le pone solo no, cuando es porque hay, no, no le entendí bien cuando yes. no estaba okay. dando las oraciones en negativo yes. cuando se le pone el no y el no okay. yes look at the screen creo que el internet se le trabó a Clarice ok bye eh, bueno, uh, this is in general, ok, para que todos eh, estemos en, el mismo, en la misma página. Ok, so, there are no chairs in the living room. Cuando tengamos solo el noun, fíjese bien el nombre, vamos a decir there are no. Ok, cuando tengamos la cantidad, there are not three chairs in the living room, vamos a decir con not, cuando pongamos la cantidad. Okay. Por supuesto, eh, también es de eh, mencionar que el there are no es un tanto informal. Ok, pero está correcto. Si usted dice there are no shares in the living room, perfect. Está diciendo no hay sillas, no está especificando nada. Solo dice no hay sillas en la sala. There are no chairs in the living room, no hay. Ok, ahora si quiere especificar, oh, there are not three chairs in the living room. We need three chairs. Ok, necesitamos tres, pero no hay tres. So you are specifying, you are being specific. Es haciendo específico. Ok. So, any other doubt? Thank you, teacher. Gracias. Okay. All right. Any other doubt? Okay. So let's move then. What is this? What is this? Mm 
Mm -hmm. What is it? Shelter. Closet. A closet, okay, it is a closet. But from those words that we have in pink, what is this? Um, this is a wardrobe. Wardrobe is the same as closet. Solamente es un sinónimo. It is a synonym. Okay? La ropa. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is oh. a synonym. Number two, what is this? Armchair. Armchair. An armchair. Chair. Armchair. Armchair. What is this? Lamp. A lamp. What is this? A lamp. A lamp. Mirror. A mirror. Mirror. What is this? A chair. A chair. What is this? A desk. What is this? Uh, mirror. No. Uh, shel shel shelves, estantes, shel shelves, shelves, estantes, estantes, okay? And what is this? A table. A table, very good, okay? How do you say closet? How do you say closet? Wardrobe. Wardrobe, yes, very good. Attendance, attendance, guys. I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. Here we go. Ana Gladys Vanegas. Okay. Araceli del Carmen Vigil González. Ariel Ernesto Morales. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Reyes. Present. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Sarceño. Carlos Present. Present. Thank you. Clarixa Maribel. Clarice Present Maribel. teacher. Thank you. Present Claudia teacher. Maria Gonzalez Soporto. Claudia Maria Gonzalez Soporto. Present teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth Joana Herrera Catota. Present. Thank you. Eh, Edwin Ernesto Aguilar Gutierrez. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Joana Aquino Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Hector Alberto Castillo Catalán. Here I am, teacher. Yes. Isela Yamilet de Morales. Present. Thank you. Jael Elizabeth Cárcamo. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Astrubal Herrera. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Alvarado Mejía. Present. Thank you. Luisa Tatiana Castillo González. Present. Thank you. Marina Elizabeth Alfaro Castro. No. Marvin Oswaldo Herrera. Ok. Paola o oh, Paola y SIC. Paola Melissa Fuentes, SIC. Rafael Antonio Vázquez Mejía. Yeah, I think that he is easy. Ok. Very good. So now let's continue. Let's continue. But let me show something. Ok. Give me one second. Okay. Let's, let's see. We have some exercise, okay? Number one, there is, there are, there is, and there aren't. There is an apple. There is an apple. Okay, next. They, there are, there are four pencils. There are four pencils or there are four pencils? Pencils. Pencils. Next. There is an apple. There is an apple? No. There isn't. There isn't, right? There isn't. Uh -huh. Yes, there isn't. No, I mean it. We just have books, colors, but there isn't an apple. Very good. Next. There are. There are. 
Very good. Next. There isn't. There isn't or there aren't? There aren't any scissors. Yes. There aren't any. No hay ninguna. Okay. No hay ni una, ninguna. Any. Okay. There aren't any scissors. Tijera. Okay. Very good. Next. There is. There is a clock. Okay. Let's go to next. Okay. This one is kind of more complex. Okay. Estas son un poco más complejas. Vamos a ver. Okay. So. There is, there isn't, there are, there aren't. Ajá. Mire complemento. Two rivers in my town. There are some. There are. Yes. Ahora paso al número dos, step number two. A, some, any, o debe ir en blanco. X. X. Ok. There are two rivers in my town. Hay dos ríos, rivers, in my town. Ok, two rivers. Next. Negative. This is negative. Something negative. There are not beach in my town. There are not. There, are. there, are not. there aren't. There are not. Okay, let's see. No. There isn't, there isn't any beach in my town. There isn't. No. Mm -hmm. There isn't a beach. Uh, there isn't a beach. No hay una playa en mi ciudad. Okay, very good. Next. A snow in my town. Positive. A snow, nieve in my town. There isn't a snow there, in my town. There. It's positive. It's positive. Yes, look at the image. It has the check. There is. There is, okay. There is some. There isn't. Some, hay algo. Some es algo. So there is some snow in my town. Hay algo de nieve en mi ciudad. Yes. Teacher, okay. ahí no va, se le puede agregar allí son, así como el caso suyo, en esta oración. Si me pudiera agregar a uh, any, a. Uh. Eh, no, ok, en, en ese caso, como la oración es positiva, Podemos agregar some, pero si fuera negativa, pudiésemos agregar any. There isn't any. Pero como es positiva, any. tiene que ser some. That's oh, okay. Uh -huh, because it is positive. Okay. Next. Negative. It's a negative sentence. There isn't. There isn't. Any any mountain in my town? There aren't. There aren't. Okay, any mountains in my town? Porque there aren't. Mire, el es plural. Mountains, montañas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Positive. There are. There are. There are. 
now. There are there some is. traffic in, in my town. Now. There is. There is. Ok. ¿Por qué there is? Porque el tráfico no es un nombre contable. No podemos decir hay uh, dos tráficos, tres tráficos, cinco tráficos. No, decimos hay tráfico. Ok. So there is. Some traffic in my town. Hay algo de tráfico en mi ciudad. There is some traffic. Okay. Next. Stadiums mm. in my town. This is something negative and look at the noun. Fíjense en el, en el noun. Es plural. And it is oh. negative. There aren't. There aren't. Any. 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 Okay, next. Lakes. Lagos. There are lakes in my town. There are some lakes in my town. Okay, next. Amusement park in my town. There is. There is or there isn't? There isn't. There is an, uh -huh. um, I'm um, an amusement park. Amusement. amusement. Amusement park, parque de diversiones. Okay. Next. There is. There are. There is. There is, are. Um, there is. A mall in the in my, my there town. There is a mall in my town. Very good. There is a mall in my town. Very good. And the last one. There aren't. There aren't, there aren't any any zebras in my town. No, I. Ninguna zebra in me. Ciudad. Okay. All right. So now let's see. Eh, fill in the blanks. Okay. Vaya. Fíjese en la, en la pintura aquí, en la picture. Okay. En la image. All right. Hi, Marvin. Good evening. Okay. So look at the picture. Look at the picture. And we are going to say there is or uh, there isn't or there are or there aren't. Okay. So let's see. There is or there aren't or there isn't. There is. There is a bed in the room. Number two. There are many books in the room. In the room. Excellent. Next. They are. There aren't. There aren't. They aren't. They aren't. There aren't. There aren't. Because it's plural. TVs. Yes, next. There is a. There, there is a. Very good. Excellent. Okay, next. There is a. <coughs> there is a. There is a. There is a fridge in the room. There is a. There are. There, are. there are two windows in the room. There are. There is. There is. A, there is a picture uh, in the room. There is. Excellent. There yes. is a picture in the room. Yes. There are. Uh, there aren't. They are in. Couches in the room. Couch. Yeah. Adding, adding this. Yes. Next. There. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What is the mean? Hang books. Hamaka. Oh, there is. There is. There is. Mm -hmm. No. There, there are is. There is. There aren't. Very Any good. Any in the room. Excellent. Next. There is a fan in the room. 
There isn't. Uh -huh. What is a fan? A fan is un ventilador. ventilador. I, don't see, I don't see it. Uh -huh. No hay. No hay. Uh -huh. Okay. Next. There is a lamp in the room. Excellent. Next. There are. There are, there are some, some books in the room. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Um, well, all right. Um, just for you to check vocabulary, okay? What is an oven? Is there an oven in the kitchen? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Is there uh, a lamp? Yes, is there is. Yes, there yes, is. Yes, there are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a lamp. But in this case, there are two lamps, right? There are two. Two lamps. So the question should be, are there lamps in the kitchen? Is there a sink? Yes, the there kitchen? are. Yes, yes there, there are. Are. Listen to the question. Is there a sink in the kitchen? Is there, is there a sink in the kitchen? No, there isn't, there are two sinks. There are two sinks, very good. So we have one and two, right? Excellent. Is there a toilet in the kitchen? No, there are. No, no there isn't. There isn't. <laughs> are there showers in the kitchen? No. No, no, there are isn't. showers. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. Is there a fridge in the kitchen? A fridge. No. Un refrigerador. A fridge. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. We have it right here. This is the fridge. Is there a stove? Is there a stove in this kitchen? Mm -hmm. A stove. What is a stove? Or no? Yes. Oh. No. Okay, so a stove is? ¿Qué es un stove? Tufa. La estufa. Oh. Yes, very good. La estufa. Is there a sofa? Is there a sofa in the kitchen? There is not. There is not, right? No, there isn't. Are there windows? There is not. Yes. Yes, there are. There are windows. Hay ventanas. Mm. Yes, there are windows. Yeah. Are there chairs in this kitchen? Yes, there are. How many chairs do we have? How many? There are three chairs. There are three chairs. Very good. Are there people? In the kitchen? No, there are. No, there aren't. Is there, well, are there rocks? Yes, the there is. Yes, there is one, right? Guess rocks or rock in this caso is alfombra. Okay? Alfombra. Are there cabinets in the kitchen? Yes, yes, there are. Yes, there are. Is there a bath in the kitchen? Is there a bath in <coughs> No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Very good. Okay. Let's move. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to play a couple of videos. Okay. But those are short videos. Son como um, videos super cortitos. Okay donde usted va a escuchar diferentes preguntas u oraciones. So, usted me va a decir qué escucha en el primer video. Okay? So, let's see. Number one. 
Yes. Is there a supermarket nearby? Is there a supermarket? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is there a supermarket nearby? There is a supermarket. There is a supermarket nearby. Yes. Is there a supermarket nearby? Is there? Okay. Let's see. Let's reveal it. Is there a supermarket nearby? Nearby. What is the meaning of nearby? Cerca. 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 Escuche. Yes. Is there a supermarket nearby? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very yes. Good. Is there a supermarket nearby? ¿Hay algún supermercado cerca? Is there a supermarket nearby? Okay. Number two. Are there any questions? Any question? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Mm -hmm. what are, is are there any questions? questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Excellent. Okay. Next. There are some rules. There are some rules. There are some rules. There are some rules. Okay. There are some rules. Rules. There are some rules. Okay. Next, number four. There isn't much time. There isn't much time. There is much time. Okay, very good. There isn't much time. No I mucho tiempo. There isn't much time. Very good. Number five. There aren't any promises. There are any promises. Okay. There aren't any promises. There, 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 are. there, are. there aren't, aren't any promises. No hay, no hay ni una promesa. Okay, very good. Number six. Is there any more milk? Again, again. Is there any more milk? There is milk. Is there any more milk? Is there any more milk? Dirty drink milk. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Is there any more milk? There is any milk. Is there any more milk? Is there any more milk? <laughs> more milk? Okay, so is there any more milk? Okay, listen. Is there any more milk? Is there any more milk? Mm. Number seven. Number seven. Is there any soap in there? Is there any? Is there any soap in there? 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 Is there any good Is there a soap in there? Good news. Okay, so <laughs> all right guys. Is there any soap in there? Mm, okay, what is the meaning of soap? Sopa? No. Okay, so very good. Is there any soap in there? Okay, number eight. Number eight. 
on. There is no party. Mm. There is no party. There is no party. There is no party. No party. No party. <laughs> Ah, uh, that one, there yes, right. So party. there is no party. Yes. <laughs> okay, there that one is easy, no right? Yes. There is no party. There is no party. Okay, very good. Number nine. Oh, it's loading. No, it's loading. Okay, let me. Talk. There are some people. Uh -huh. There are some. People. There are some. People. There are some people. There are some there people. Are some people. Exactly. There are. Yes, very good. So you see, it's not difficult. It's easy, right? Very easy. Okay. So yes. now, now let's go to the uh uh to the class. Okay, to the PDF. Yes. So we have a role play. We have a role play, okay? So let's see, letter A, please. Um, Erika, letter A. And let me see, um, Isela, letter B. Hello, I am Andy, and I like to show my house. Please come in. Let's start in the living room. There are two um, chairs. In the in this room, I was I was six in this one on my with. No sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Why? Why? Six in that one. There is also a uh, lamp next to my chair because I like like to read. In the evenings, this is the kitchen, and we also use it as a dining room. There is a big table here in front of the window. There are two shirts as well. Now let's go to the office. office. My wife is a lawyer, and she works from home there is a big desk for her computer and behind the desk there are two shelves shops where she keeps her books and papers finally finally um, finally it's hi so you or Peter big room Oh. Next to the bed, there is a mirror, and on the right, there is a space for our clothes in a big wardrobe. Wardrobe. Very good. Okay. So, as you can see, we have exactly there are two armchairs in this room one and two. Two armchairs. Okay. Two. There is also a lamp next to my chair a lamp there is a lamp okay then this is the kitchen this is the kitchen look at the kitchen we also use it as a dining room un comedor dining room comedor there is a big table here in front of the window look at the big table in front of the window in front of the window yes there are two chairs as well one two Two chairs. My wife is a lawyer, una abogada, a lawyer, and she works from home. There is a big desk for her computer, a big desk. Un escritorio grande, a big desk. Look at this, okay? And behind the desk, there are shelves. Look at the shelves, los estantes. Look at the shelves, yes? Next to the bed, there is a mirror. Look at the bed, and here we have the mirror. Yes? And on the right, there is a space. There is a space for our clothes in a big wardrobe. Look at the wardrobe. You see? Very good. Okay, guys. So now we are going to practice in pairs, 
and you are going to describe the picture using there is and there are. You are going to describe this picture, okay? Using there is and there are at least five things, five, okay? That you can see right here, five things. Cinco cosas que hay aquí. Va a mencionar cinco cosas. Then you are going to move to the second image. You are going to describe this picture. There is and there are, okay? Then you are going to move to this one. There is and there are, okay? Well, we have covered. So those three, three things, okay? I'll give you around eight minutes to complete all of this. Then we are going to come back because we have another activity, okay? Do you have any question? Questions? No? Okay, so let's see. I'm going to create the breaker rooms. Okay, um, Okay. let me, Erika and Elizabeth. Okay, there you go. Okay. Um, Claudia, are you there? Hello. Ah, okay. 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 So I'm going to assign you to a different room. Okay. So you can listen. Yes. Okay. And, and, um, me quedo o me voy a la sala tres? Oh, go, go, go to room three, go. Okay. Uh -huh. It's imagine. We are going to describe by thing. It's imagine. Let me. See. Let me. See. Yeah, they are two so the two sofas. No, so and so. they are two sofa. They are three windows. And they are. Una mesa. Mm. Ah, there, there are, there is, an, uh, there is, there is a, a table. A table. Uh huh. You are that teacher. There is a table. There is on the first picture. Uh, there is a table. Yes. There is a table. And the second sentence, it could be uh, there are. Uh, to chair or, or lamp, maybe? lamp también hay una, lamp. There are? There is, there is an armchair and there is a sofa. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so, uh, the is, there, there is there a is. chair and the other yeah. one is, there, there, is, there, 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 is a, there is an armchair there is an armchair. Uh, how do you spell uh, armchair? Armchair, A R M C H A I R. Ah, es como, como un brazo, sí, algo así. Armchair. Yeah. Uh -huh. Correct. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, there are two windows. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. There are two windows. Mm -hmm. um, there is an uh, cloak. Okay. Yes. Yes. There. Every. Your cup shop. Okay. Windows. Uh huh. Windows. Lo, lo que le dije a la teacher es que no, no hay. No hay un reloj. Entonces, mm -hmm. eh, se pone, ¿verdad, teacher? Yeah. There, is, there is not or there isn't. Correct. There, there is not or there isn't. It's okay. Okay. There is, there isn't a cloak. Okay. 
Yes? Yes. Okay. And the other one? Uh, cuántas sentences, sí, teacher? Five, the same. Five, Five. sentences. Yes. Okay. ¿Cómo es en inglés? Yeah. Dice, ¿Cuántas oraciones? How many sentences? How many sentences? Mm -hmm. How many? ¿Y cuánto, ¿Cuánto dinero? How much money? Ah, it's, it's uncountable mm -hmm. when it speak the money. Yes. Ah, okay. How many sentences? Five, five sentences. Five sentences. Five. Five. How many do you do you write? Mm -hmm. Edwin? Mm -hmm. How many do you write? ¿Cuántas has escrito? Ahorita, como aquí dice, describe de la pintura usando there is y there are. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Vaya, entonces. Entonces. Si gusta, ponga ahí. Eh, yo le he hecho. There is uh -huh. a tail y there is a window. There are two, two windows. O sea, hay, hay dos ventanas, ¿verdad, teacher? Uh -huh. There are two windows. Hay tres. Tres. Oh, entonces. Three. Ah, three. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Entonces son. There are three. Very good. Uh -huh. There are three windows. Y there are los sillones. ¿Cómo? Ah, eh, lo que pasa es que eh, uno es un, es un sofá y el otro es una silla. Entonces, mm, eh, tenemos que decir, yo. there is, there is a eh, chair. Para mí es sofá también. Ah, el <ríe> Solo sofá que es de uno. El sofá es. Solo que es de uno y el otro es sofá es doble. Ah, bueno, <ríe> pero el, el, el más. Hi, guys, do you need help? Do you have any question? Uh, yo tengo dudas. Yes. Eh, simplemente vamos a realizar oraciones, como describiendo lo que tiene, o vamos a seguir una secuencia, como explicando, como una conversación como tal. Oh, no, just sentences. Ah, solo oraciones. Yes. Ah, okay. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, teacher, es uh, uh, un table. There are a table or there is. Uh -huh. No, okay. okay, Carlos, Carlos, there is a table or there are a table. ¿Cuál es la correcta? Uh, they are le escrito a cottage. Okay, pero si dice there are a table, está diciendo I hay unas mesa. Ok. Entonces es there is a table. There is a table. Ok. Mm -hmm. Bien. Y cuando, por ejemplo, es aquí también escrito que es they are there are ajá, three wind. Ok, ahí sí. There okay. are three windows, porque es plural. Hay tres. There are Perfect. three. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok. Um, repita después de mí, Carlos, y diga examples. ¿Perdón? Example. Example. Ajá. Example. Examples. Así. Así se dice ejemplo. Ok. Example. For example. For example. For example. Así me va a decir. For example, teacher. For example. Okay. For example. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Continue, guys. Okay, let me see. Okay. Thank you. Sí. Hello. Do you want to send me the link? I have a question. Yes. Bueno, yo le decía a las compañeras que voy entrando, no estoy bastante desorientado ahorita. Uh -huh. Tenía problemas con la, con la conexión, sofá. ¿verdad? Yes. Este, pero más o menos lo que he entendido de la, de la imagen, eso tenemos que sacar cinco cosas que hay en de, dentro de la habitación. Correcto. Sí. Como por, por ejemplo, pero yo oí que dijeron mi compañera que decía de que, que cuando se mencionan números, no, no, no lo entendí muy bien. 
como, de, como por ejemplo, they are to cup on coffee on the table. Sería correcto. There are two cups of coffee. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Cups. Sería correcto. Yes. Plural. Mm -hmm. Sí, está bien. La otra sería como they are two sofas. Sofa, ¿cómo se? How do you say sofa? Sofas. 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 Pero así sería entonces el ejercicio. Yes, así. Exactamente. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Teacher, Igual va a ser una con la pregunta. Lámina. Yes, correct. Ajá, uh -huh. Clarissa. Una pregunta. ¿Solo vamos a hacer las oraciones de question? ¿O también tienen que ask, ask, poner, responder? Just the questions. Just the questions. Solamente las oraciones. Solo las oraciones. Uh -huh. okay. Ahí se puede formar ya sea con the are y con the is. O de. Uh, o así como usted había puesto para, para, para hacer oraciones, es ir el is there o el o el are there para hacer la pregunta. Ahí, no, ahí uno son oraciones. Es... Esas son oraciones. Ajá. Se puede utilizar there is o there are, depende de lo que usted vea en la imagen. Ah, ok, está bien, uh -huh. teacher. Gracias, gracias. ¿Y cuánto sería el, el pie? Sería there is is. Cuando, cuando usted vea que por lo menos el pie que está en la mesa. Ah, there is a. There is a. There is. There is a pie. Exactly. Ajá, correcto. Ok. Yes. Y este, para referirme a, a libros. Mm -hmm. There. Okay, libros. There, there are the books. There are books. There are books. Books. Ajá. There are books. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. They are there. There is a lamb. Mm -hmm. They are the windows. Mm -hmm. They there is uh, flowers. Mm -hmm. There is a flower. There is a flower. Mm -hmm. There is a flower. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. How do you say curtain? Curtains. 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 Este flower es, es son flores, ¿verdad? Yes, flowers. Flower. Yes. Uh -huh. Flower. Very good. Yes. Ok, let me. Let es me... el. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Continue. Ok. Continue. Ok. Va, pues. Do you have any question? No, teacher. Okay. Uh, we finished the lesson. Oh, you finished? Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. So give me two minutes because the other teams are still um, creating the questions and, and everything. But, okay, what you are going to do is the following, okay? I need to go ahead and practice the role play, my neighborhood. My neighborhood. Uh -huh. oh. oh yes, I need to go. I need to go and um give me one second, okay? Deme un segundo que veo que se conectó un estudiante. Okay, no. Okay. All right. So here, okay, in this case, yes. Okay, so John and Laura, correct. What? Sí, what no, I, no, no, sí. Really? Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? Se lo voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp. Okay. 
Eh, un segundo. Ok, once you finish with that one, cuando ya termine con esta, once you finish with this one, quiero que se mueva a las preguntas que tenemos acá. Ok, okay bye. Permítame, lo voy a mandar aquí en ese momento la conversación. Esta. Oraciones y vamos a hacer, Batcha. Yes, de, de, la, de las anteriores sí. Ok. The picture. Yes, bye. Ahora el role play. Ok. Ahora vamos a practicar el role play. ¿Sí? Ok. John y Laura. Yes. John, Jonathan y Laura, Juan, en ese momento. Ok. Ok. okay. I like this neighbor, neighborhood. Uh -huh. It's quiet and convenient. 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 I know. I know. I love this place. There are many restaurants and bars around. Yes, there is a big theater and many shops. I would like to live here. There are gross, grocery. Grocery, yes, grocery. Store. Mm -hmm. Coffee oh. place and big store. Yes. The only, the only problem is that it's really fancy place. Okay. Yeah, fine. Rent my when would be expensive. The only problem is that it's a really fancy place. Fancy, fancy. bien piquis. ¿no? Oh. Yeah, right. Rents must be expensive. La renta debe de ser bien costosa. Claro. Yes. Okay, so now yes. Vaya, ahora sí, se puede mover a esas preguntas. Okay? All right. Mire si esas okay. no le salen borrosas en su, en su hoja. No. Me okay. estoy viendo cómo le en él. El... Bye. Entonces, esas, es, ¿ok? No, okay. Ajá. Voy a la, otro, a la otra sala y si me paso a la otra sala, no voy a dejar de compartir la pantalla. Bueno, está bien, teacher. Nos metemos okay. nosotros en la clase. Ok. Hello. Are you alone? ¿Estás solito? Hello. No lo escucho. Se salió del otro compañero, quizás de la. De la sala. Oh, ¿sí? Ah, se le desconectó. Sí, sí, porque me quedé yo solito. Ah, ok, terminaron. Sí, sí, sacamos cinco de cada una. Ok, vale, dígamelas. Eh, eh, they, they are. Eh, Three windows. Uh -huh. And they are two sofa. There are two sofa. There are two sofas. Uh -huh. uh, they is lamp. There is. Repita they, después de mí y diga there. There. There is, is a table. Okay. Uh, they, there is floor. Uh -huh. uh, que ve la otra. Esa sería la que sacamos de la primera imagen. Okay, very good. Next. La otra. Y la siguiente es. Uh, there is computer. Uh -huh. uh, they are uh, three lamps. There are three lamps. There, there are. They, they are. No, they is window. There, there is. There, window. There is table. There is a, a table. A table. There is a table. And la otra is. They, they are three flowers. There are three flowers, okay. Okay, very good. Okay, so now we are going to go back to the main room. Okay, vamos a la sala principal. Okay. Okay, let's go.
Ariel, we were waiting for you on the on the room. Carlos was alone. Okay. Se me fue el internet. Yes, I know. Okay. All right, guys. So let's see. Um, let me let me share my screen again. Well. I'm going to take the attendance, but first, let me ask you, what do you see in this picture? There are two pictures. There are two pictures, okay. What else? There are two sofas. There are two sofas, okay. What else? There are three windows. There are three windows. What else? Yes, what else? There are two coffee, cup coffee. Coffee cup. Coffee. Okay. Th there are three cups of coffee. Cups of coffee. Well, three. Uh, two. Two, right? Yes. Uh huh. What else? There is a lamp. There is a lamp. What else? There are some uh, calabazas. How do you say calabazas? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Halloween. Okay. Pumpkin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, what else? What else? What else? There are curtains. There are some curtains. Okay. Curtains. Curtains. Very good. Okay. What about on this one? What do you see? There is six. There is a clock. There is a clock. What else? There is a chair. There is a chair. There is a chair. What else? There is a lamp. There is a lamp. What else? There is a bag on the floor. There is a plant. A on the plant floor. on the floor. On on the floor. On the Very floor. Good. What else? Uh, there is a brick briefcase. There is a briefcase on the floor. Uh, briefcase. Yes. Yes. What else? There is a computer. There is a computer. Computer on the desk. The there, there is, is a window. A there is a Don't window. Start. Very good. Okay. Excellent, guys. Very good. Okay. So now, good. Yes. Okay. Let's complete this one. There, there is, is a plant. There is a plant. Number two. There is a plant. There are some there chairs. Are some there chairs. are some chairs. Number three. There are not any eyes. There in isn't. My glass. There isn't. Any there eyes isn't. in my glass? Yes, there isn't. Excellent. Any eyes in my glass? Number four. There, there are aren't any mirrors. Well, there no, aren't any no. mirrors in number four. There is a clock on the wall. There is a clock on the wall. Yes. Number six. There is a door. There is a, there door. Is a, door. a door. Number seven. There are um, there, there are, are any, there are any glasses on the table. table. The table. Number Como eight. La, la cinco, cinco. There uh there aren't any mirrors. Que no hay algunos espejos. No hay espejos. I don't see mirrors. No. Hay no. Ah, no hay okay, okay. There, no there are not. There are not. Thank number you. number okay number eight there isn't there a is tv a set. set there isn't a tv there set very good TV so you set. see easy is not difficult right very easy okay guys attendance 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 let me take the attendance okay here we go eh, okay ana gladys vanegas Okay, Araceli del Carmen Vigil González. All right. Ariel Ernesto Morales. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Reyes. Present. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Sarceño Vides. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Clarixa Maribel Ramos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia María. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Ernesto Aguilar. Thank you. Elizabeth Joanna. Present. Thank you. Erika Joanna. Present. Thank you. Hector Alberto Castillo. 
I am here, teacher. Thank you. Isla Jamilet de Morales. Present. Thank you. Jael Elizabeth Cárcamo. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Herrera Lucha. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Alvarado. Present. Thank you. Luisa Tatiana Castillo. Present. Thank you. Marina Elizabeth Alparo. Marina Elizabeth Alparo. Okay. Marvin Oswaldo Herrera. Present. Thank you. Paola Melissa Fuentes. And Rafael Antonio Vasquez Mejia. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's continue. Okay, guys, look at what we are going to do right now. Mira lo que vamos a hacer. Uh, okay, let me let me go here. Okay. I need you to go to your spreadsheet. Se va a ir a su hoja de trabajo. Okay. And look at what we are going to do. Mira lo que vamos a hacer. You are going to click on material. Well, this one is just for reading. Okay. This one is called the simple present. Eso es para que repasemos el presente simple, para que no se le olvide. Veamos. Okay. The simple present is story. Una historia pequeñita en presente simple. Okay, um, okay, Isela help us reading the first image. Isela nos ayuda con el primer, la primera imagen. Luego Marvin con la segunda. Eh, number three, please, eh, Jael, number three. And number four, Luisa Castillo. Number four, Luisa Castillo. Okay, number three, Jael. Number two, Marvin. And number one, Isela. Okay, Isela, start. My name is Robert. Is like I like I live this house. Mm -hmm. That is my dog. It's nice. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Yes, fine. Yes. He likes sleeping. 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 He was. Mm, usually, usually, usually it sleeps under the tree. Okay, so this one, leave. Okay, leave. Very good. Marvin. Okay. I have a lot of friends. I often play so, so well oh, football with them. Okay. Of football with them. I always call Kai. Call them? They call them. Call them. Call. They win. They win. I uh, want to play in the park. I never go to park alone. Okay. Hi. My father works in a bank. He usually comes home late. He likes sitting here and reading books. He sometimes sleeps when he reads. He doesn't like playing football or watching it on TV. Excellent. Okay, very good. Uh, Luisa. My mother is a teacher. She teaches English, English and she likes her students very much. She gets delicious food for me and I love her so much but she doesn't let me eat much junk food. Does your mother let you? Very good. So she teaches, okay? Use this one, she teaches. Very good. So as you can see, guys, this is a simple present story, okay? So you don't forget, all right? You shouldn't forget about simple present. But now let's move to the activity. Okay, so we're going to practice interviewing a celebrity. Okay, so we are going to interview a, cele a celebrity. So we're going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas, okay? Indications. You are going to interview your classmates by answering the questions on the next page, okay? So we are going to present this activity in the main room. Aquí lo vamos a venir a presentar, pero usted lo va a crear con su compañerito. Mire lo que va a hacer. 
One is going to be the interviewer. Uno va a ser el entrevistador. And the other one is going to be the celebrity. Usted elige qué celebridad quiere ser. Usted elige con su, su, uh, su eh, teammate, ¿ok? Con su compañero. I have added, yo les he agregado ya el roleplay, cómo va a desarrollarlo, mire. Usted solo lo va a ir rellenando. Yes. So the interviewer, hello, Mr. or Miss, or Mrs. ¿Ok? No sé qué va a hacer usted, si va a ser Justin Bieber, si va a ser, eh, I don't know, eh, Chayanne. Quien quiera que sea, all right? Yes, el que usted quiera, cualquier celebridad, all right? So, and the celebrity is going to answer, hello, okay? Uh, I'm okay, thanks for asking. Sí, y entonces empieza a desarrollar. This night, we want to know more about you. Esta noche, nosotros queremos saber más de ti, le dice el entrevistador. La celebridad responde, sure. Ok, seguro, dígame. Sure, tell me. I can answer any question that you have. Puedo responder cualquier pregunta que usted tenga. Entonces el entrevistador empieza. Miss or mister, dependiendo de quién sea usted. What do you do in your free time? La celebridad va a responder qué hace en su tiempo libre. Thank you. Do you play any instruments? Yes. I play, ¿y qué instrumento toca esa celebridad? ¿Ok? Interviewer, what music do you like? ¿Qué música le gusta? I like, y es el tipo de música. And so on. ¿Ok? Y así va hasta terminar. I'll give you exactly, exactly eight minutes. Exactamente ocho minutos. Para que usted termine eso. ¿Ok? So, right now, I'm going to create the breakout rooms con su compañero. Empieza a trabajar. Okay? Eh, let me go ahead and, and recreate this. Okay, here we go. Sorry, me salí. Permítame. Um, Claudia. Ok, Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. Dice, hello. Sería, hello, Mr. James Allen Bertley. How, yeah. how are you? Hello. Yeah. Teacher, eh, aquí es como de rellenar, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, y la celebridad dice uh, al, al, al entrevistador, um, hello, Mr. Eh, o de cualquier nombre. Yes, en ese caso, como usted va a ser el entrevistador, supongo. Entonces, Marvin me le va a decir, hello, Mr. Sarceño. Okay. El que va a cambiar el nombre va a ser la celebridad, ¿verdad? O sea, la celebridad, porque depende de quién va a ser. Es que el entrevistador le dice, hello, Mr. James. Ajá. Este Pero sería, hola. hello, Mr. Sarceño. How are you? Ajá. Correcto. Sería con nuestros nombres, ¿verdad? Si quiere hacerlo de usted, de usted mismo, está bien, pero si quiere ser una celebridad, como dice Roleplay, hágalo de una celebridad. Pero si quiere usted, ser usted mismo, it's okay. 
Uh, role play, ¿qué es, teacher? Eh, básicamente, eh, un role play es esto. El que una persona es el interviewer y el otro es la celebridad. Un intercambio. Ok. Uh -huh. Bueno. Ah, pues, este, no sé si le parece el, el, el artista o lo cambiamos. Sí. Ok. Ah, pues lo dejamos en, en James Allen. Ese es el vocalista de Metallica, teacher. Ok. Hello, Mr. James Allen. Where, where are you? How are hello. you? Yes, hermano. Mm -hmm. How Hi. are you? Este, yo le digo, hello, Mr. Marvin. Así, teacher. Mm -hmm. I am okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. It's nice we had to know more about you. Sure. Tell me, I can answer any question that you have. Mr. Alan. Okay. Mr. Alan, what do you in your free time? Mm -hmm. eh, como le digo, bueno, I, I play guitar. And I play the guitar. I, I play the guitar. Y como mm -hmm. le digo, componer canciones. Eh, you can say I compose. Uh, I no. compose. Mm -hmm. Compose. Así, I com ah. compose. I compose. Yes. I compose. Eh, sing. Songs. Ah, songs. Songs. Sing el cantar, ¿verdad? Yes. Songs with S. Or with O S. Songs eh, with S because it's plural. Ah, oh, okay. Entonces, yo, yo, le, yo le diría a, a Marvin um, que en mi tiempo libre, uh, I compose song and, and play the guitar. Uh -huh. Yes. Thank you. Do you play an in, in, instrument? <laughs> ya lo había dicho, ¿verdad? Yes, I, I, I love it. Play the guitar. Yes, I love to play the guitar. I love to. Yeah, you love it. No, I love it. No, I love to play the guitar. ¿En qué caso se usa el I love it? El I love it. El it usted está sustituyendo a, a otro eh, sujeto. Entonces este el it, digamos, por ejemplo, yo le digo. Una hamburguesa. Um, ajá. Por ejemplo, I love hamburgers. I love it, McDonald's. No. Ok. No. Vaya. Permita. Ok. Fíjese bien. El it, si yo digo I love it, uh -huh. digo lo amo. Pero el, ¿al qué? ¿A qué? ¿El qué cosa? ¿El qué cosa? Entonces, el I love it se puede utilizar cuando usted ya ha dado. Eh, básicamente un, un contexto. Y para esto, por ejemplo, tenemos que decir eh, eh, I love dancing with my with my uh, I don't know, with my sister. I love dancing dancing with my sister. It is one of my favorite um, hobbies. Yes, I love it. I love it. This is pretty, in, 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 in the sentence before. Uh, yeah, I, I mentioned about the, the I like to. Uh, no, pero en ese uh, caso, recuerde que esa es otra pregunta muy distinta. No podemos decir I love it to play the guitar. Eso no se puede. Uh, Tenemos que decir I love to play the guitar porque son dos verbos que van. El to va en el medio. I love to play the guitar. I love to play the guitar. Y así, ¿verdad? Así es, este, usando el, el love to, el Para play todo. y el de guitar. Yes, así. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Excellent. Ok. Thank you, teacher. All right. Very good. Continue. Entonces, Marvin. Uh, well, uh, yes, I, I love to play the guitar. Ok. What music do you like? 
Mm -hmm. I like uh, I like to hear rock. Yes, teacher. I like to okay. listen to rock music. Oh, I like to listen to rock music. Siempre es to, to rock music. Yes, siempre. To rock music. Yes. Ah, okay, interesante. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The... Had, had some great. And, and do you have a pet? Uh, yes, I do. I have a dog. What language do you speak? Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Qué lenguaje yo hablo? Mm -hmm. ¿O qué idioma, qué idioma hablas? Algo mm -hmm. así. Yes. Uh, I speak uh, Spanish. Mm -hmm. En este caso le está preguntando What languages do you speak? ¿Qué otros idiomas habla? Usted puede inventar, como esto es un role play, es como una actuación. Entonces, oh, you invent. You say I invent. speak French. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Alan. How, how is you are so friendly? Oh, thank you. See you around. Excellent. Que es si yo a Ronti, si nos vemos en algún lado. O... Te veo, te veo pronto, te veo luego. See you around, nos encontramos después. Mm. Ok, very good. Es por, por el contexto de, de, de la entrevista. Como él es un entrevistador, en algún momento. Lo va a encontrar. Ajá, lo va a encontrar, correcto. Lo va a encontrar. Ah. Yes. Ok, okay nice. ready? Yes. Ok, very good. Let's, let's see. Um, let me see if the other teams are ready, okay? Give me one minute, okay? Let me see if they are ready. Give me one minute. Okay. Okay. Guys? No. No? No. Okay. All right. Oh, oh my God. Okay, so let me check. Well, Carlos and Marvin, they are ready. Let me see Hector and Jael. Uh, okay, so do you, do, do you need, how many minutes do you need? Yes. Uh, maybe five minutes. Five minutes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, go, go, work on that. Uh, okay, work on okay that. thank you. Okay. And a flute. Are you ready? Yes, yes, teacher. Right. Estamos repasando. Okay, perfect. Teacher, teacher. Yes. What is the meaning of see you around? See you around, te veo luego, te veo después, nos encontramos por ahí. Oh. See you around, the church. <laughs> See you around, okay? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, continue. Right. Give me one minute, okay? Thank right. you. Elizabeth? What oh, happened? Oh, yes. It's a okay. Are you ready? Yep. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Give me one minute, okay? Give me one minute. Okay, Sela is here. Let me check on Edwin and Juan. Okay, give me one second. Okay. Edwin and Juan, are you yes. ready? Yes, money. So... Are you ready? No. No? Okay, so I'll give you two minutes, okay? Two minutes. Okay. Two. Okay. Total bread. Horses. Horses. Quiero ver. Y en la mascota. ¿Qué idioma habla? Is, yo espía. Uh, Spanish. Spanish. Oh, yeah. Speak Spanish. Ma. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Clarissa. What happened? Hola, buenas noches, teacher. Fíjese que tenía problemas con el internet, se me desconectó, pero me volví a conectar. Me costó un poco porque estaba a girar y girar la ruedita y no cargaba para irme a la sala principal para practicar con la compañera o compañero. Ok, ok. Ajá, worry, okay. Estaba muy lento. Ajá. Ok, so... Entonces, 
para practicar con, los, con respecto a lo de las celebridades. Con eso estábamos, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, yes. So right now we are going to come again. Vamos a regresar al salón principal. Ya van a, a venir ellos de regreso, ¿ok? Para que okay, eh, presenten lo que hayan practicado. Así que no se preocupen. Mm. Ajá, o sea, yo voy a, uh, pero lo voy a completar con la celebridad que yo elegí. Yes, ok, so, pero no van a pasar, había puesto... no van a pasar okay. todos ahora, ok, van a pasar hasta Ajá. mañana, porque ya casi vamos a terminar y ellos todavía sí. están completando, pero sí, Bye. va a pasar mañana, ok. Hay que, hay que completarlo, ok. Yes, tienen que completarlo porque mañana sí van a pasar a decirlo, ok. Ok, ok, está bien, teacher. Yes, let Gracias. me go. ok, ya van bueno. a ir de regreso, ok, give me one second. Ok. Okay, very good. Okay, guys. So, well, we need two volunteers to do the role play. Two volunteers. We need two volunteers to do the role play. Who wants to participate? Todos van a pasar porque mañana los que no pasen van a pasar mañana. Okay? So, siempre van a pasar. Okay, Jael, okay. Jael, very good. Jael and your partner. Jael and, and Hector, I think. Yes. Okay, go. Hello, Miss Annie Haraway. How are you? Hello, Mr. Hector. I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. This night, we want to know more about you. Mm -hmm. Sure, tell me. I can answer a question that you have. Miss Annie Haraway, what do you do in your free time? Mm -hmm. I love a read book. Okay, I thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you play any instrument? Yes, I play the guitar and a flute. What music do you like? I like K pop. Okay. Oh. That sounds great. Great. Yes. And do you have a pet? Yes, I do. I have a rabbit. What language do you speak? I speak Spanish, English, Italian, and Chinese. Thank you, Miss Annie Haraway. That is, you are so friendly. Oh, thank you. See you around. See you around. Okay, very <laughs> good. Okay, excellent. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, Um. one observation. Al principio, Jael, usted dijo, I love play the guitar, creo que dijo. Y es, I love to. Cuando llevemos el verbo love, siempre vamos a poner to. Okay. Okay, uh, we have time for two. Mm -hmm. I love a uh, dije, teacher, I love a read book. Oh, I love to read book. Uh, okay, thank you. Yes. Okay, we need two more, two volunteers to do the role play. Okay, Erika. Yes, okay, Erika. Erika and your teammate. Erika, ¿con quién iba? Con... Let me see. Did I continue, Eric? Oh, and Jonathan. Jonathan, okay. Jonathan and Erica, okay, go. <laughs> go. Yes, siempre cata, guay, verdad. Yes, yes. Okay. Hello, Miss Cataway. How are you? Hello, Mr. Jonathan. I'm okay. Thank you for asking. This night, we want to know more about you. Sure, tell me, tell me I can answer any question that you have. Miss Cataway, what do you do in your free time? Well, I like to go for a walk in the mountain with my friends and also I like to watch movies. Thank you. Do you play any instrument? Yes, I like to play the piano. Mm -hmm. What music do you like? Mm -hmm. I like to listen classic music, music class, classic music, classic music. Okay, that's so great. If you 
And do you have a pet? Yes, I do. I have a dog. What language do you speak? Well, I can speak two languages, Spanish and English. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Cataway. That is, you are so friendly. Oh, thank you. See you around. Okay, very good. All right, excellent. Well done, okay? It was very good. Okay, guys, so you see it's not difficult, right? Not difficult, okay? Muy bien. All right, guys, so just because of the time, solamente por el tiempo, we are going to leave it right here. Vamos a dejarlo hasta acá. Thank you for being responsible. Gracias por ser responsable y conectarse. I'll see you back tomorrow. I hope you have a good night. La única persona que se queda, por favor, es Jael. Okay? Yes, then the other ones, have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night, good night. Bye, everybody. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Yes. Okay. Means. Okay, Hail. So, how do you feel, Hail? How are you? Oh, you are on mute. Is that is that mute? Ah, uh, I'm fine, teacher. I feel uh, very happy. You feel very happy. Okay. All right, Hail. So this space is for you to give feedback. Is for you to let me know how do you feel with classes? How do you feel with the dynamic of the class? How do you feel with homework? How do you feel with your uh, partners? How do you feel with the platform? If you have had any issues with the platform, if you have questions about any topic, this space is for you to let me know what you think about everything, okay? Yes. In Spanish, teacher. Okay, go. <laughs> Uh, bueno, eh, realmente yo me siento bastante bien y me gusta, me gusta cómo da la clase, se le entiende, se le entiende perfectamente. Me gusta que, que nos habla en inglés, ¿verdad? Como debe de ser, pero también nos explica en español algunas veces. Ok. Entonces eso creo que, que ha hecho más, más, perdón, más fácil el aprendizaje para cada uno de nosotros, en especial, ¿verdad? Yo siento eso, eh, siempre me, me gusta eso, ¿verdad? Que, que nos expliquen en español y en inglés, porque así uno, ah, ya la próxima vez, eh, sabemos eh, lo que significa, okay. porque ya nos lo ha dicho en inglés y en español, okay. entonces es más fácil comprenderlo. Eh, me gusta bastante, como le digo, se le entiende bastante bien, Y sí, son muy dinámicas. Yo siento que aprendemos y a la vez nos estamos divirtiendo. Ok. okay. Ah, me gusta también lo de eh, que nos reunimos aparte eh, en la sala, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, ¿Por qué? Porque aprendemos siempre de los otros compañeros. Uh -huh. Siempre hay algo nuevo. Tal vez uno no sabe una de la pronunciación eh, y el otro compañero la sabe y pues así nos ayudamos. Eh, eso es bastante bueno también porque hace más entretenida la clase. Okay. En cuanto a los exámenes, mm -hmm. eh, me, me, me parece muy bien, los he sentido un, ay, regular, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, porque van de acuerdo al tema que se, que se va viendo. Sí. Ajá, entonces eso es bastante bueno, siento que le refuerza a uno los conocimientos que ha adquirido en la clase. Mm -hmm. Eh, de creo que todo está muy bien, bastante. Ok, perfecto. Ahora, eh, cuénteme acerca de su experiencia con el idioma inglés. ¿Ya había estudiado antes o, o es primera vez que estudiaba o ya tenía conocimientos previos? ¿Y por qué si ya había estudiado dejó de estudiar o, o qué pasó? Eh, sí, primero empecé eh, en Duolingo okay. ah, en el año de la pandemia. Uh -huh. estudié casi los 200 días uh -huh. ahí pasaba uh -huh. aprendí bastante vocabulario uh -huh. luego sí estudié el nivel básico en la academia europea okay. eh, y igual ya estudié el intermedio pero realmente el intermedio no 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 aprendí nada porque eh, me tocaba venir corriendo del trabajo y súper cansada 
eh, a veces ya venía tarde, no aprovechaba toda, todo el tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, la verdad es que sí, ese, ese tiempo, y como era en línea, en cambio, cuando yo inicié el básico, fui presencial. Ok. Ajá, entonces, sí, digamos que ya tenía conocimientos, pero igual estoy en nivel básico todavía. Ok, ok. Ok, y, ¿siempre le ha gustado el idioma? Eh, fíjese que yo empecé a estudiar el idioma en el 2021. Todo el año 2021 lo estudié en la europea porque tenía como objetivo que, me, que iba a aplicar a una beca de Japón. Y para aplicar a la beca de Japón tenía que poder inglés. Uh -huh. Pero ya no, ¿verdad? Ya ahora, eh, eh, primeramente, me gusta. Antes no me gustaba, pero cuando lo empecé a estudiar, o sea, es, es muy difícil. Yo quiero aprenderlo, yo quiero hablarlo. Okay. Ah, tanto para, digamos, mi carrera profesional, porque igual en la institución donde yo trabajo, el otro año, no, el 2024 va a ser bilingüe. Entonces todos tenemos que saber inglés. Ok. Porque vamos a impartir materias en inglés, entonces es necesario. Pero yo creo que más que todo lo empecé a estudiar por superación personal. Ok, excelente. Ok, ¿dónde trabaja usted? En el Colegio Bautista de San Salvador. Ok, ok. Entonces sí tiene que aprender inglés. Sí. Porque, sí. Ya cuando, cuando empiece las clases ya es súper distinto, ¿verdad? Ok, perfecto. Bien, eh, ¿tiene alguna consulta en cuestión, uh, en relación con, con algún tema que no le quede claro o que tenga dudas? Eh, pero es, me revisó. Ah, con, con lo que me confundo un poco, siento que quizás tengo que estudiar más porque si no, ese tema sí, es de los que siempre me cuesta, eh, las preposiciones. Preposition of time, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá, eh, cuando, cuando se usan, yo, como le digo, o sea, lo que quizás me falta esa parte es estudiar ese tema porque siempre ha sido como uno de los más difíciles, como preposición de lugar también y todo eso. Entonces, siento que ahorita es el que más me ha costado. Okay. ok. Porque en cuanto a las oraciones, con el simple present, que... Eh, Sí, verdad, ya me, me le entiendo, me ubico, pero sí serían con las preposiciones, uh -huh. eh, los adjetivos ya, los posesivos, adjectives, creo que ya, ya más o menos también debo de estudiar más porque creo que eso nos falta a veces, no, no, no quedarnos solo con lo que, lo que nos dieron, sino que estudiar, repasar, repasar, porque así es y no se le olvida a uno. Sí. Entonces sí, creo que sería ese tema y eh, con los conectores de secuencia eran, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, nada más eh, el, quizás el significado de den y dar, porque verdad que esos se utilizan en otras, eh, de otras maneras o, o, sí. o con otro significado. Sí, yes. utilizamos den. Eh, como adverbio de, de secuencia, pero también se puede utilizar como palabra de transición en otros contextos. Pero como adverbio de secuencia significa luego o después. Ajá. El then. Y el that significa qué. Pero también puede significar eso. Entonces, si usted me, me pregunta de after that, sería después de eso. Ah, pero el after eh, va junto con that. After sí. that, no solo that. No, ah, ah va, está bien, entonces ahí me he equivocado. Sí, solo es en eso, dos en las preposiciones, ¿verdad? Sí, en las preposiciones. Okay. Ajá. Vale, con las preposiciones sí, hay que reforzar tal vez, tal vez un poquito y también estudiarlo. Lo que vamos a hacer es que mañana tal vez vamos a tener algún quiz, ¿verdad? Como un examen evaluado, así para, no evaluado en, de su nota principal, pero en la clase, ¿verdad? Para que eh, vaya usted repasando. ¿verdad? Y todos repasen también porque hay temas de que necesitamos como repasarlo, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a hacer un pequeño como examen individual, como el que pusimos la vez pasada del presente simple, ¿ok? Que cada quien toma el examen en, en la página y este, para que lo vaya repasando usted, ¿verdad? Y vea si en verdad eh, necesita refuerzo, tal vez a veces es porque no, no lo hemos practicado, no lo ponemos en práctica y pensamos que necesitamos reforzarlo, pero en realidad lo sabemos. Entonces, vamos a ver ahí si usted pues sí necesita, ¿verdad? El refuerzo o, o quizás so, solamente es que lo use, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, eso es lo que vamos a hacer con lo de las preposiciones. 
eh, sin embargo, pues eh, en, en la clase creo que está como el cuadrito, ¿verdad? Ese es bien, bien general, entonces lo puede verificar, ¿verdad? Para que se lo aprenda. Las preposiciones, más que todo, sí es de aprendérselas de memoria cuando las puedo utilizar uno. Uh -huh. Ah, va. Y la última nada más, con los adverbios de frecuencia, creo sí. que son el always, usually. Sí. ¿Eso siempre van al inicio de una oración o pueden ir al final? Muy bien, muy buena pregunta. Eh, como regla general, el adverbio de frecuencia siempre va a ir después del sujeto. Okay, cuando hablamos de las oraciones positivas. Entonces, siempre va a ir después del sujeto. Sin embargo, sin embargo, se puede poner al inicio, pero cuando usted lo ponga al inicio, tiene que, tiene que colocar una coma. Okay. Eh, bueno. Al final, um, no es común, sin embargo, existe la posibilidad que se pueda utilizar. Sin embargo, no es común. El más común y general es siempre que va después del sujeto, siempre. ¿Okay? Cuando hablamos de la oración positiva, pero por ejemplo, cuando queremos utilizar un adverbio de, de frecuencia en una oración negativa, va, el adverbio va a ir después de la, del auxiliar. Por ejemplo, I don't usually eat cheese. ¿Okay? Y en la positiva es I usually eat eat cheese. Vaya, ¿Mm? teacher. Eso sería básicamente. Vaya, sí. perfecto. Bien, ahora le voy a dar mi feedback hacia usted. Bien, Jael. Fíjese de que eh, la felicito porque en realidad es una de las estudiantes que más participa, ¿verdad? Y que se le nota la motivación que usted tiene y creo que eso es muy importante. Es muy importante y también es, es muy eh, valioso ahora en día en los estudiantes, ¿verdad? Que participen y que se les vea la motivación de aprender y usted la tiene. Entonces eso es muy importante y para nosotros también es muy agradable tener a personas y estudiantes como usted, ¿verdad? Porque en realidad el maestro está aquí para enseñar, ¿verdad? Y si ustedes pues tienen ese, esas ganas de aprender, el maestro también le, eh, tiene esas ganas de enseñar. Entonces eh, la felicito porque es bien responsable también, creo que nunca ha faltado, ¿verdad? Las clases, entonces eso es muy importante también porque ha seguido la secuencia y la responsabilidad que ha tenido es muy, pero muy notoria. Entonces la felicito porque es responsable, porque participa en clases, porque está súper motivada y la invito a que esa motivación no se le pierda, porque como usted misma dice, el inglés en algún momento en su caso le va a servir, más que todo en su área laboral. ¿verdad? Y con el inglés, obviamente, usted va a tener un mejor empleo y mejores oportunidades donde usted quiera que vaya. Y como sabemos, ahora en día ya las empresas preguntan, ¿cuál es su nivel de inglés? Ya no le dicen, ¿puede inglés? No, ¿verdad? Le dicen, ¿cuál es su nivel de inglés? Antes, antes era como, ¿puede inglés? Sí o no. Vaya, no importa, igual va, lo contratamos, pero ahora es... ¿Cuál es su nivel de inglés? Y en algún momento, más adelante, eso es un requisito mandatorio que una persona sepa inglés y español e incluso un tercer idioma. Entonces, es muy importante que usted no se dé por vencido y que siga aprendiendo el idioma porque le va a servir en un futuro. ¿sí? Así que la felicito y me gusta muchísimo que siempre participe y que siempre cuando yo entro al salón de ustedes, cuando está con su compañero, siempre están trabajando y están pues eh, haciendo lo de la clase. Entonces eso es muy también importante mencionárselo y pues invitarla a que siga y hable inglés con su compañero. Cuando esté en los break rooms, trate de utilizar el idioma, ¿verdad? Para que su compañero también se sienta motivado a hablar el idioma y usted también, ¿verdad? Lo, lo empiece a practicar, ya que tal vez ese es el módulo primero y como usted dice, ¿verdad? Yo trato de hacerlo como en inglés y español, un 70% inglés y cuando yo sé que tal vez es algo súper complicado, lo trato de explicar en español, pero va a haber un momento en estos módulos que ustedes ya no van a poder hablar en español, solamente va a ser en inglés. Ese es el principio, pero ya cuando entremos más a, a fondo en todos esos módulos, usted va a ver que que en sí el programa es muy bueno y es muy bonito porque se cubren todas las áreas, todas, desde recursos humanos, mercadeo, ventas, se, se cubren todas. 
Entonces usted va a estar aprendiendo diferentes eh, estructuras, vocabularios, etc. Entonces para que usted se vaya acostumbrando desde ahorita que debe de hablar el idioma, ¿verdad? Cuando usted pueda, con su compañero y conmigo, cuando usted pueda hablar inglés, háblelo. Porque es bien importante que desde ya se acostumbre. Eh, y pues eso, ¿verdad? Más que todo, felicitarla por su esmero y por su constancia que ha tenido durante todo el programa, ¿verdad? Espero de que, eh, pues, los frutos, ¿verdad? De, de todo el aprendizaje en el 2024, usted pues los tenga, ¿verdad? Y que pueda lograr su meta y su objetivo principal, que es aprender el idioma. ¿Mm? Así, Así que... Es, teacher, muchas gracias. Vaya, entonces la felicito mucho. Oiga, uh, la espero el día de mañana, ¿verdad? Siempre puntual. Y si pues no tiene ninguna pregunta, ¿verdad? O algo que agregar, entonces vamos a dejar el feedback hasta acá. And I will see you tomorrow. ¿Ok? See you, teacher. Bye. Have a good night. Take care. Bye-bye.